Hey guys, this is Balu and today in this tutorial, I will show how we can create this kind of CJ ads using VFX in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find the video useful and without any further delay, let's start today's video. So here I'm in After Effects and here I'm using this footage which I got from Pixels. Download link in the description if you want to use the same. So here you can see this got some camera perspective change and uh, some camera movements here. So first of all, let's track the camera. So for that, select the footage from this timeline, come to this window and enable tracker options here. So we got the panel here. So now being selected this footage, click on this track camera. So it starts to analyze our footage and gives us some tracking points and it is done. Here the tracking is done and we got some track points here. Let's increase the track points here so that it is visible. Now you can see we got this track points, right? So first of all, come to this advanced options and look for this average error value. So here the average error is 0.4 pixels, which is okay. Anything less than one pixels is fine. And if you got this average error value more, just click on this detailed analysis option. It will track the footage once again and gives us a lot more track points, which may reduce the error value. So here this value is fine. So now let's select few track points. So here I will select these track points, hold left mouse and just select these track points here like this. Now right click, create solid and camera. So here you can see we got this track solid. Let's increase the scaling, press S and increase the scaling here. This is aligning perfectly. Now let's move forward in timeline. So here this is following the camera movements and also let's select another track solid in this position. So let's move forward in timeline and let's select these track points here. So I will select these track points. Now right click, create solid and camera. So we got another track solid. Now let's increase the scaling for this also. Let's increase the scaling. So now if I play this, you can see our track solids are following the camera movement and it is perfectly tracked. So now we need to export this tracking data into Blender. So here I will be using scripts to transfer the tracking data into Blender. And by the way, these scripts are free to download. I will leave a link in the description for the scripts and also for a video where you can see how to install and how to download these scripts or else you can click on the iCard above for that video. So now let's export this tracking data into Blender. So for that, let's select this track solid, both track solid and select this track camera. Now come to this file, scripts and select this export composition data to JSON. So from here, select a location where you want to save the file. So here I will select the downloads only and I will give a random number like 1212 and OK. Now click on this export option. It will be the data will be exported. Now we can close this after effects. So now here we are in Blender and I am using this 4.1 version. So first of all, let's clear this default by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. Now let's import the tracking data. So go to this file option, import, select this After Effects composition data. So go to the location where we have saved, select the file and import AECOM. So here you can see we got these two solids and also we got the camera. So if I see through camera, so if I press zero on the keyboard, you can see we got a track solid, but there is no footage. So let's import the footage. So select the camera, come to this camera icon here, enable this background images, expand this one, add image, change this to movie clip and from here select the clip. So open. So here we got the clip and open clip. And let's increase the opacity to one. So now here, if I play this, you can see we got our track solids following the camera moment. So now if I select this tracking data, we got the keyframes, right? So here in After Effects, the timeline starts from zero, whereas in Blender, it starts from one. So we need to move keyframes one frame backward. So press A to select all the keyframes, press G and move one frame backward so that the camera tracking matches in Blender also. So come to this last frame, let's change this to 219. So I, let's change this to 219 frames. So now if I play this, you can see the track solids or the planes are following this camera moment. Nice. So now let's place this track solids onto this grid here. So if you want to add any materials, it will be placed onto the grid, right? So let's match this track solid or let's place this track solid onto the grid. So further, we can't select all the objects and move it accordingly. So first of all, we need to create an empty later. We need to pair it that empty to camera and also these track solids to that empty. So let's do that. So select the camera. Let's bring the cursor onto this position. So shift S cursor to selected. You can see we got that cursor point. Now let's add an empty. So go to this add empty 
select the plane axis let's increase the scaling okay so now let's pairing the camera to this empty so select the axis here not the camera select the axis hold shift key and select this empty now control p p for pen select this object keep transform now we have parented this camera to this empty in the same way we need to parent both the objects here so select both the objects hold shift key at last select the empty now control p select object keep transform now we can control the whole scene with this empty so if i press zero on the keyboard and if i move this you can see the whole scene is moving so let's bring on to the grid here so i think so i think this will be the fine so here you can see these lines are intersecting right or else let's come out of this camera let's select the empty press 7 on the keyboard for top view and let's place this here only so press g and let's bring it here let's rotate this one so select the rotate tool and let's rotate it here and let's place it so if you want to combine these planes we can do that so let's do that so select both these planes press ctrl j to join them now press tab key for edit mode select this edge selection select this edge and this edge press f on the keyboard to fill the gap now press 7 for top view change this to vertex selection let's select these vertices here now press s and x and let's scale this in x axis so that this comes in a straight line in the same way let's select these vertices press s x and make it straight so this also s y make it straight and this is right okay so now if i press zero on the keyboard so now if i play this we can see we got the plane so if you want to increase the scaling further let's press tab key for edit mode let's select this edge here let's select this edge and let's move it in this way and also select this edge sorry this edge let's come out of this and drag it backward press tab key for edit mode and now i think this is looking good so we can place any 3d objects onto this and here the plane is not flat so here you can see we got some distortion right so let's fix that out of this camera now you can press tab key for edit mode now press a on the keyboard to select all the axis now press s z and align in z axis so now this will be in a straight line so now we can place any of the objects onto this plane so here i will be using this blender kit to get the models and by the way blender kit is free to download so here i will search as coke so let's use this model so simply click on this icon and the model will be loaded here so here you can see we got that model now right click select objects let's increase the scaling press s and increase the scaling here and here this is attached to empty which is fine and by the way the model which you are using does not have empty better add an empty so i will show you how to do that so first of all let's delete the empty here so select the empty alt p and clear parent and keep transform so again select the model alt p clear and keep transform now we can delete the empty okay so now select the object now i will show you how to add empty so select the object so make sure the origin is at the center and we want this cursor point here so shift s cursor to selected so now you can see we got the cursor here now let's add an empty so go to this add empty so here i will select this cube press s and increase the scaling so now let's parent this one so first select the object hold shift key and select the empty now control p p for pen object and keep transform now we can control this whole object using this cube so let's place this on the plane so let's rotate this one so let's rotate this here or else come to this position and let's change this to 90 and let's place this on the plane so zoom in so g z yeah so i think this much is fine so first of all let's place the object here so let's see through camera press 0 for this camera view I think we need to increase the scaling of the can so press s and increase the scaling i want this to be huge so let it be here and let's place this just above to this plane let's increase the plane scale also so s and increase the scaling and 
tab tab gear select this edges and move it aside so i think the size is fine let's place this here now let's add this rotation and location animation so let's place this here first so beyond the first frame come to this object properties so here we need to rotate this in this axis right so here already x and y is set to minus 90 so let's lock this rotation let's change the y rotation to zero first and beyond the first frame add a keyframe for this y rotation now move to the last frame and let's change the value here so i think in positive way we need to change the value so i'll change this to thousand and add a keyframe so now if i play this we will have the rotation animation but the speed will not be constant so let's come to this position let's select the empty select both the keyframes press t and select this linear so now the speed will be constant now we need to move the position so again come to the starting frame so let's see in which axis we need to move so we need to move in y axis so lock this x location and z location add a keyframe for this y location now move to the last frame and move the can here like this and add a keyframe here now in the same way press t and make it linear so now if i see through camera and if i play this you can see we got this can roll animation here so now let's move on to this render viewport so here the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene so now let's move on to this world properties click on this yellow dot of this color and change this to environment texture so from here i will load an hdra so you can get free hdra from polyheaven so i will load an hdra here so open so i got this hdra and open image so you can see we got the, some light in the scene so come to this render properties enable this ambient occlusion i will change the distance to 3 and enable the screen space reflections refractions also now come to this film option and enable this transparent so now we can see we got our footage visible here and if i play this now this is looking good nice so now let's change the render engine to cycles here i will be using cycles engine so i will change this to cycles and device i will change this to gpu compute so now we need to set this plane as shadow catcher so that it catches the shadows so select the plane come to this object properties scroll down come to this visibility and enable this shadow catcher so now this plane acts as a shadow catcher so here we got the shadows in this direction right so let's add sun here so go to this add light add sun here and let's rotate this so let's come out this frame let's change this to ev first so let's change this to ev and let's rotate this here so here you can see we are getting those shadows right so first of all let's align it properly so i think this is fine and let's change the strength here so i'll change the strength to 2 now let's change this render engine to cycles and see through camera press 0 so now you can see we are getting the shadows right so i think i will reduce the shadow length here so this much is fine so now let's increase the strength of the shadow so in order to increase the strength i think we need to increase the strength of the sun so i will change this to 8 so now we can see we got the shadow strength increased so now let's come to this render settings once again and i will show you how to render this one so maximum samples i will reduce this to 32 and noise threshold i will change this to 0.1 and come to this light paths and bounces i will reduce this to six transmission i will reduce this to six these are all to reduce the render time if you can spend much time on render and if your device is capable you can leave it to default so i think this much is fine and finally come to this color management and change this view transform to standard so that we get the true colors i think we need to reduce the intensity here you can see the sun intensity or else let's make it bit gloss less glossy so select this material come to this material options select the material and increase the roughness a bit so that the shininess will be reduced so here you can see the shininess is reduced and yeah this is looking good so now let's duplicate this model multiple times and place it in this line so let's change this to object mode come to the starting frame here so we can't directly duplicate the model and place it here because we got the keyframes right so for that let's create an empty 
so select the model so let's bring our cursor onto this model here so shift s cursor to selected now let's add an empty so go to this add empty here i will add this sphere press s and increase the scaling of this sphere so now we need to parent this cube empty to this square empty so first select this cube empty after hold shift key select this sphere empty now control p keep transform so now we need to duplicate this both empties and the object also so select the object and select both the empties shift d now select this empty sphere empty and let's bring our model here so i think this is fine and if you want to have another copy again select the object select both the empties shift d after that select this sphere empty and let's place the model here so if i press zero and see through camera let's send this to we put so here we got these three models so now let's add some rotation difference here so let's come to the starting frame so select this first model empty so starting rotation i will change this to 100 add a keyframe come to the last frame and i will change this to 800 okay so now if i play this and also we need to make it linear so press t make it linear so now if i play this we will have some randomness in the rotation so now let's move to this render viewport once again press zero for see through camera now come to this render options so we have set the render settings now come to this output properties so here i will leave this to full hd so render region crop to render region enable both these values so here the frame rate we should match this with the footage so here the footage fps is 29.97 so i'll change this to 29.97 frame start and end 1 to 219 is fine now come to this output properties here we need to select a folder where we can save the files so i will quickly select a folder where i can save the output files so here i have selected a folder to save the files after the come to this file format let it be png and make sure this rgba is selected to get the alpha channel so once this is done just come to this render options and click on this render animation so this renders in png sequence later use any editing software or after effects to compose it so in this way we can create this kind of cgi ads in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye